season two rendition by Brian Platter. Space Kutas. John Volvi arriving at you in Technicolor. Hey. The Honorable Ed Honor. Here we go. Honorable. Whoa. Honorable. That must be an older view. <laughs> <laughs> do the slow fade this time instead of just chopping it off. Welcome to Big Words I Know by Heart, a program of rants, rays, fays, pet peeves, personal vendettas, celebrity interviews, and anything else we can fill the half hour with. My guest today is a bona fide Buffalo legend. He's been performing his brand of profane musical satire for over 40 years now. Up and down the eastern seaboard has an encyclopedic discography and remains one of the top selling artists on XM Radio. The man who needs no introduction... John, Dr. Dirty, Balby. Hey! Oh, shit. Oh, camera. shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's an appropriate beginning. <laughs> there you go. How you doing, Tom? Good. Thanks for coming back. John. Ah, I had a good time last year, so I want to come back. I, uh, I tried to up the ante this time. We'll see. All right. Joining us in the co-host hot seat is former guest and Nightlife Magazine publisher, editor-in-chief cook and bottle washer, Ed Honick. And all between, everything in between there, too. Thank you very much. Welcome <laughs> aboard. Good to have you, Ed. You came, in, uh, you came through in a pinch. I know you needed somebody. I thought I'd be here for you. Lindsay, uh, you will be missed, and may you rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> no? Take care of that little chitlin. That's what That's I said. That's right. Keep cranking them out. Uh, John, would you, <laughs> would you like to hear the questions, sir? Sure, go ahead. Uh, my son and I were fortunate enough to see you play out at the Volby Family Christmas at the luxurious and hospitable Penny Lane Cafe in December. Uh -huh. Did you offer your family a discounted rate for your services, and were the family members at the event, in fact, paid actors? <laughs> uh, of course. I, it was gratis. Uh, pro yeah. bono? Oh, pro bono. That's that's a good word. Yeah, no, my wife told me to be there, and I obey my wife. You packed them in like sardines at that event. Uh, that was mostly my wife's doing, but yeah, we had a good time. We, uh, you know, putzed around and, uh, you know, sang a couple Christmas songs. I was surprised at how few people knew the words of the songs. Mm -hmm. I myself had to get the books out because... I know the profane words, but I don't know the real words. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I sat in Santa's lap, and I wanted to take it further, but he did not <laughs> signal anything with his eyes. He was a pretty good Santa, I He thought. was a real good Santa. Yeah. You even had a toy piano for the kids. It was, uh, it uh -huh. was a family-friendly event. Yeah. Thanks, man. It was a good time. Uh, now, you're obviously a supporter of Caitlyn Jenner's heroic genital mutilation. <laughs> Fuck that question. Up. The real question is, did you install a transgender gender fluid... I have no fucking idea what bits and pieces I identify with this <laughs> afternoon. Bathroom in your new and improved $2.5 billion clearance compound. <laughs> no, we did not. I believe that Mr. Jenner still has his full plumbing. I don't think you're even allowed. They'll declare martial law on you if you refer to him as Mr. Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> Ed? Well, hey, I agree with you. You know, you don't even know where which bathroom to walk into anymore. <laughs> yeah, I wonder which I mean, one he changes. does. Right. Yeah. They made all those local changes now. Uh-huh. Do you just shit into a bidet in that scenario? <laughs> <laughs> What's the protocol there? Uh, yeah, bidets are a very European thing, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Are they funkier over there? What? What? Why do they do that? I had some really good French jokes for this show, and I had to can them at the last minute. I may have to resuscitate them. Yeah. Uh, John, at my last count, you've released 78 and one quarter albums in the last 40 years, including the very entertaining Survival of the Stiffest. Listen to it today. It was outstanding. Well, thank you. Uh, does your wife, Ann, lock you in your basement studio until you come out with a new album every year? Uh, no, she uh, avoids Dr. Dirty uh, f pretty much with a passion. That's your you time. Th that's, that's my go out and do my thing time, yes. And uh, 
you know, she, she, that's not her style of humor. And uh, I, that's, I'm surprised by that. Well, I, probably because she's heard so much of it, and people are always uh, doing dirty stuff because they, because th- she's my wife, you know. Right. But uh, no, she's she's not big on that stuff. Hmm. Uh, in the basement studio. All right. Well, we're gonna skip that. I don't even know where I was going with the rest of that question. <laughs> do your wife lock you in your basement studio until you come out with a new album every year? Yeah. And do you get the top bunk or the bottom bunk? I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> this one is for Ed. Ed? May I call you Edward? I get another question. Good. <laughs> Shoot. S- super group busted stuff in my second trophy wife, Allison Pipitone. Both won Lifetime Achievement Awards last month at the Buffalo Nightlife Music Club and Gelato Dispensary Awards. <laughs> Are you poaching my guess, Ed? Is there a question there? Are you poaching my guess? <laughs> no. <laughs> or do we both have great taste? We do. You know, both of them have been around a long time. They both deserve uh, well winning uh, awards like that. So mm-hmm. we had to give it up. Uh, matter of fact, Bust of Stuff is in Florida right now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they're performing down there. So, you know, they were able to get out of the Buffalo area and, and be successful. And down in Florida means rehab. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, I, I hope you gave this guy a Lifetime Achievement Award. Well, you know what? Like you say, John's been around a long time. Uh, I think one of his biggest awards that he got, Tommy, was uh, he was inducted into the uh, Buffalo Music Hall of Fame, I believe, in 1987. Mm-hmm. And he was in good company at that time because uh, there were, uh, I think the deceased Mark Freeland got in in that year. Uh-huh. And there was another guy named um, uh, Vincent Michaels, mm-hmm. great artist in their own right and, uh, you know, brought music up to another level here in Buffalo. Mm-hmm. And, of course, I was on the road, so I wasn't there. But <laughs> <laughs> What I want to know is why aren't you opening for the Goo Goo Dolls or vice versa this summer? Have you heard they're coming out with the new album? I have not. That's good. They're coming to Darien Lake this year with uh, Collective Soul. Never heard of those guys. I've heard the name, but don't know anything. My wife loves a couple of Goo Goo Dolls songs, though. Really likes them. Mm-hmm. Plays them a lot. Yeah, Collective Soul has been around for a while. I'm just. Uh, it's original music, but it's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, Allison Pipitone <coughs> played a party for us about four or five years ago. Uh, out in Clarence, out in the field, have a nice uh, stage, and uh, she rocked the place. She is, really she is a true sweetheart. Yeah. She really is. Yeah. Both of you are. Well, You're a sweetheart, grazie. sir. <laughs> Ooh, we're getting generous again here. Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, John, who was the brains behind the classic 1972 American songbook album, Shoney, with Buffalo Sabre Jim Schoenfield? And who held the record for remaining teeth in their head? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Myers uh, was the guy who put that together. He was a promo guy uh, for the radio station when that stuff was going on, and he, he put it together. Mm-hmm. And uh, I happened to work in the studio, and he brought Shoney in, and we did that album. Was it a serious project? Was it a straight project? Uh, yeah, it was serious. You know, I mean, it was fun. You know, we just did some tunes, you know. You always hurt the one you love. You know, was Shoney singing that at the time he was knocking people's heads off the boards, you know? <laughs> that was a good little thing. You follow the hockey, Ed? I do. But I'm thinking about Sean Ball. Didn't he have a bar, too, at one time? Oh, he had a, yes. Yeah, he had yeah. a great You never played at his bar, did you? Uh, that's a sad story. One time I did, but it was after Shoney didn't own it anymore. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I had, all my friends would say, John, you're such a great piano player. Uh, d- when you play clean, let me know, and I'll come out and see you. And I told, personally, over 100 people I was going to be at Shoney's, which he no longer owned, on a Tuesday night. Two people showed up. Ah. Uh. Nobody wanted to hear me play clean. They, they, want, they, they want, want the dirt. dirt. Yeah. They want the dirt. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's just the way life is. Mm-hmm. And yeah. there were five people that dro- saw it in the little paper and drove up from Pennsylvania to hear Dr. Holy Dirty. Holy shit. Yes, they drove up to hear Dr. Dirty. So I played three clean songs, <laughs> and then I, I did a half a set of dirty stuff and got the hell out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ed, Ed, you're good at anecdotes. Can you tell me the last time you and Mr. Volvi 
share the room together. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, I, when I saw him appear in a, in a place called the uh, Anchor Inn on William Street in October. That's Always we, rolling that's our That's where we, we, we shared the room. He was playing and I was watching him. <laughs> <laughs> Holy But shit. I was drinking. I think mm-hmm. he was, I don't That know. was that one time you I, were drinking at? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I had a tequila or two. It was sitting on a bar. Yeah, and I, I, I was going to send one over his two. way, but uh, he was too busy singing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a fun night. That was a fun night. You're lining up some local gigs. You've got Eddie Ryan's on Central and Lancaster this Friday. This Friday, yeah. I, You know, I'm almost 72 now, so I, I love where I don't have to drive eight hours to a gig. Mm-hmm. You know, because uh, we drive to the gig and then have to drive home. <coughs> and, man, it's tough. It's tough for and the guy who goes with me. We're both old farts, so staying awake for 18, 19 yeah. hours. At 72, compared to the guy sitting at the right at you, you're a wee lad, John. <laughs> yeah, but we're both good looking. That's true. <laughs> All three of us have oh, that in common. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No? <laughs> sure. Whatever uh, you say. The last time you were here, John, we talked about uh, gen stenosis. If gen stenosis, or is it gen stenosi? If gen stenosis's hips are distended, does that mean we're in for three more months of winter? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's in your ballpark. The streams will be fishy. <laughs> you can and, almost make a song out of this, yeah. right? <laughs> what rhymes with stenosis? Uh, Halitosis. Wow, that was quick. Halitosis. Hypnosis. 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 Oh, hypnosis. Hey, there Symbiosis. You there you go. Symbiosis. I don't even know what that one is. I, I, do I know who the person you were talking about was? The weather girl on Channel 2, Jen Stenosis. Oh! Or have, you, have you moved on? Stenonis, no. Stenonis? I bl- that's how I think she says it. Mm-hmm. I watch her all the time. I like her. She's got that little Bob Hope ski nose, mm-hmm. you know? Will you be making it rain for her anytime soon? I think you know what I mean. <laughs> I'd be, and I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Stay on everybody's good side, right? Mm-hmm. Now, how did you get into the character of Johnny Hot Rocks for the 1983 film Losing It with flat-chested has-been Shelley Long and Scientology wacko Tom Cruise? <laughs> well, that was once again through Jerry Myers hmm. and his buddy uh, out in California. He's the guy who did a couple of Schwarzenegger movies, the uh, uh, Alien one, uh, uh, Predator, uh, Predator, yeah. Predator, those. And uh, they were going to use... Uh, Shanana, piano player for that role, and Jerry had me send him a couple of tunes. They were looking for some tunes for the movie, and he ended up using one of those songs, a clean song. But then I threw in a couple of dirty little ditties, right. and he said, "Oh, let's use that guy instead of the Shanana guy." So it was, it was just a connection. Who you know, hmm. you know. Ed, have you appeared in any major motion pictures? I have not. I would love to. Though. Yet, yet, yet. I was surprised looking at the IMDb ad, uh, losing it, the film that, that John was in or did music for, uh, Curtis Hansen directed, the yes. guy who did L.A. Confidential. Yes, and uh, The Hand That Rocked the Cradle. Hmm. That was his, I thought that was his big one, but. Claim to fame. Hey. You were, what the hell did you do, Ed? <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Um, <laughs> we had to have a timeout. Not now, we're now back. Apple. We're back now. You were saying, though, you, what were you going to say, Ed? We're back. We're back, yeah. and we're back. You had a thought before that I rudely interrupted. I don't know. <laughs> well, so They come and go. It'll circle back around. <laughs> this question is for you, Ed. Who won the club award for best establishment to get a questionable 3 a.m. blowgee in the parking lot? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You don't I, want to throw out any plugs I, well, for that I'm, one? I'm, I'm thinking, Are you at a loss for I'm plugs? Thi- I'm thinking maybe uh, there might have been quite a few of them, and there's too many to name. <laughs> ah, that's a good you know? slick way out of it, yeah. That's what the kids are saying today, the blow G. The blow G? Blow G. Wow. They're dropping it like it's hot, and I don't know <laughs> what any of that means. Uh, John, in your long and illustrious career... What are the most difficult <clears throat> rhyme schemes you've have, had to come up with for the human anatomy? Oh, for the anatomy. Uh, Mm -hmm. Gosh, I don't know. Uh, Uh, 
I, I, I think I've been able to rhyme anything. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I, I can't think of a difficult one. I was wondering, listening to Survival of the Stiffest, which you can get at johnvolvynation.com, uh, when you were singing I, 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 do people often shout out names and try and stump you? Oh, for Hey Lottie, yes, yes. they do. Okay. Yeah, it's for Hey Lottie. Yeah, they try to stump me all the time. Have you been stumped yet? Uh, a few times, but, uh, you know, that's been years ago. And uh, uh, now I've got a catalog that's pretty thorough. Mm -hmm. And uh, under pressure, you can usually come up with something. With a little tequila. Tequila does loosen the... Uh, vibrations of the mind <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are still hitting the beach bars both of you absolutely beach bars, beach bars. you do sunset like, bay you i do, do sunset bay hell sunset yeah bay. yeah yeah june <clears throat> 17th 18th this year do they stack them in right off the coast you got both flying what the hell does well, that mean uh, i don't know what that means well let's put it on a positive note sunset bay won in the music awards this year Best party bar for 2015. So, are they, all right. are they coming off the coast? Absolutely. I just mean when you go you go to the beach bars and sometimes you see boats out in the water. They're parked out there because they're too cheap to buy a ticket. Yeah, there's not that much of that at Sunset Bay. Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't think there's a good places to park boats out there. But what do I know? You know, it's at the end of Lake Erie. Mm -hmm. You see you you know, you if there's some any waves, shows, you get some boobs. Uh, yeah, we do get boobs. Mm -hmm. You know, not not as many as we used to, but we still do get them. But and not the lopsided European kind. Oh, I love those too. <laughs> no, we get some nice American heifers. Yeah. Ed, do you have a boob preference? I uh, not right now. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> Are you offering or something? I don't know. I am not offering. <laughs> uh, what can you tell me about the Jazz Trio side project? You were involved in a few years back, and could you please to show the viewers at home your jazz hands? Talking to you. <laughs> Talking to me? You had a jazz... Ed told me about it first. You had a jazz side project. There was a band you were doing on the side. That's what, the jazz. What? what uh, I, jazz? I was probably more blues. Ed, help me out here. Uh, it was uh, jazzy blues, yes. Mm -hmm. What was the name of the band? I know you um, know. You know, you sat in with some blues guys uh, back a couple of years ago. You sat in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, you know, you were kind of like with, a... With Puccio? Was it Puccio and the Breveras? Uh, the Breveras, yeah. John Puccio and the Breveras. Yeah, John, Puccio, and, the Breveras. Uh, yeah. and uh, uh, Dave Viterna. I love to sit in with Dave Viterna, too. Mm -hmm. And I just sat in with the Mercury Rising Blues Band. Ooh, smoking. Local, national? Local. Local, local yeah. They, but they're smoking. Uh, I'll put them up against any blues band I ever saw in Chicago. Where'd you play with them? Uh, at Penny Lane. Penny Lane. Yeah. Wow. They're think, doing they're doing live music acts, from what I've heard. Yes. They're, Penny they're, Lane. They're doing Fridays and Saturdays, usually. And it's, mm -hmm. You know, and uh, boy, rocking place, man. Hmm. I j you know, I put the feelers out, try to do a book reading there. No love. No love? No love. That's okay. Yeah, you got to talk to my daughter, Angel. They don't. They don't want uh, my kind of riffraff up in that joint. <laughs> I class down the place. <laughs> no. <laughs> so hey. you were you playing? You you play backup for bands sometimes. You do it for fun. You do it for the money. Oh, uh, there's there's no money involved for me. No, I I just do it for the fun. There is no high like when a, a band gets together and you're playing together. And you get that ten or fifteen seconds where it's just smoking hot. Mm -hmm. You just feel so good. And when you do a solo act, you don't get that. Mm -hmm. And so. I get like, into a groove. Yeah. Well, you can get into a groove solo, but it's it, when the, when there's the interplay of the different musicians, it's just it's really neat, really <laughs> fun. Now, moving on to the uh, region of national politics. Ah. As far as the upcoming presidential election, are you rooting for the fascist, the communist, or the career criminal in a skirt? <sighs> Donald and Hillary. Donald and Hillary. Voting for one of them is just fucking killing me. <laughs> if we want to save the nation, we need another nomination. I don't know who oh. to vote for. Oh, man. Ed, who are you rooting for? Yeah, Steve Calvinasco? No, it's 
He's he's still alive and well, you know. He's good. Really good. That's great. Who's right. alive and well? You got a plug to throw out for Steve Calvinesco? <laughs> yeah. Um, he owns a bar. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> called Bogart's on Bailey Avenue mm-hmm. near Eggard Road. You're and getting a, you're getting a happy hour. I know. The next time you come up. <laughs> <laughs> Two for one drinks, happy hour, four to seven. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. I know of all that. Blatant. Blatant. It is blatant. It's shameless. <laughs> yeah. You, you, That's why you love me. You, <laughs> you know, don't know who to vote for. Trump, Trump is a likable guy. He's entertaining. He speaks out his mind right off the cuff. But his ideas are so fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. You, you know, uh, deporting 11 million people, you, how can you do that? This is America. You, they have to do due process, go through the... It'll take fucking 40 years to do that. Build a fucking fence. There's oceans around each side. There's tunnels. It's just mm-hmm. the stupidest. You know, fix a bridge. Fucking, you know, make the uh, electric grid better, you know? It's just... What a waste of... Stupid! If I vote for Sanders, are you going to pay for my free college with your taxes? Uh, Bernie, mm-hmm. you mean the uh, uh, old Jew socialist motherfucker? Yeah, no. <laughs> Didn't he drop out yet? <laughs> I need no. to go back to Hamburger College, okay? Hamburger? It's, it's my dream. No? Yes. Hamburger? You mean, you mean you're talking McDonald's? You're talking Crystal Burger? I don't you're know talking... where to, which, which is the Whopper button. Do you know? <laughs> Ed, which is the no, Whopper button no on idea. the restaurant? Sonic now. Sonic. Sonic. Or awesome. In-N-Out. Have you ever had an In-N-Out burger out of California? They're pretty good. They're pretty you liked them? Burger. I thought they were just, maybe it was just the one I went to. I went mm-hmm. to two different ones and they both sucked. No bueno? No. I had Taco Bell. I do Taco mm-hmm. Bell before I do an In-N-Out burger. Now, <laughs> while women aren't technically our equals, should they be allowed to leave the kitchen when they're not having babies or, <laughs> or clipping coupons at the dining room table? <laughs> on a serious yeah, note. On a serious note, on I think we note. passed that about 40 years ago, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much equal now, aren't they? Hell, we're going to have a woman president probably, right? With a dick. Oh, absolutely. Right? Well, her name is Hillary Clinton. No way you're going to prevent her from becoming America's first bull dyke president. <laughs> when she gets in the Oval Office, they'll be watching her on the clock to see if Monica comes around to suck her fucking cock. Who it's a fuck. fuck. What's, going What's going on? on? Come on, Ed, join in. Who gives a fuck? fuck. What's, What's going, going on? Who gives a fuck? What's going on? Dear. Yeah. Go to the, the fridge, fridge and get, get me another, another beer. beer. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Do you think next year is the season that our Buffalo Bills go all the way, or is your viewpoint tainted by reality in conjunction with our third dimension? I believe that we are going to make the playoffs, but we are not going all the way. Ed, is this the magic year? <laughs> no, it's not the magic year. Is it ever the magic <laughs> it's year? It's not. not going to be for a while. You love those Bills, don't you, John? I, I do love the Bills. Uh, I think Tyrod Taylor is a real quarterback. I, I think in a couple years, uh, you know, the defense has to come back. But uh, we got Rob Ryan now to fucking straighten it all out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, what about Shady, though? I don't know. They got to work on their running game and eagle more often, correct? And who more often? They got to score eagles more often on the rebound. Oh well, I don't know. And they got they got to keep their running backs healthy. Cause they had quite a few injuries. Hmm. Anyway, babble babble. I know you like Stevie Wonder. I like Stevie. Wonder. I love Stevie Wonder. Did you see Stevie Wonder play? This is fucking horrible. Did you see Stevie Wonder play songs in the key of life at current banking conglomerate center last November? And more importantly, did you help him cross the street to get there? <laughs> <laughs> I did not see him, no. He, he was downtown. He was downtown? He did the whole album, Songs in the Key of Life, start to finish. Wow. I missed it, too. Yeah. Well, oh, that's, that's very cool. That, that, was a, that was a pretty good album. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As is my favorite song by him. Yes. It's, uh, it's a good one. Ed, do you have a favorite Stevie Wonder song? Uh, does he have any uh, new ones coming out? Not that I know of. Do you know that, John, or not? Uh, not that I know I think of. He, uh, I think Signed, Sealed, and Delivered is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Signed, Sealed, uh, Delivered. Delivered. I'm your... Uh, 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 the, the old Motown song. Yeah. And Sir Duke. And uh, I lost it. It's gone. Uh-huh. I'm getting old, too. 
Hey, superstition. That's another one. And yeah. you have a new album yourself. Yes. Which is called? <coughs> uh, Keep Calm and Val Beyond. That's your final answer. Yeah, final answer. I wanted to call it. I told you already, but this mm -hmm. is off camera. I wanted to call it The Poet of Bedpan Alley. Both good titles. Yeah. Yeah. Available now? Keep counting. Available now. Uh, it'll be probably on uh, iTunes in a day or two. I sent it to the guy in Florida who does that. Mm -hmm. But I sold it live last weekend. I'll have it at Eddie Ryan's Friday night. Is there Whoa. a show special? Shameless. Whoa. Shameless. You're not a sh nobody can be as shameless as that. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Wait With your plugs, <coughs> hey, name what? five people who have a new album out in Buffalo right now and go. I bet you can do it. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. Tommy Z. <laughs> well, he does have a new one. Mm -hmm. Tommy Z? Yeah. Tommy Z's oh, got good. one that hit yeah. the Billboard charts. Yeah, it was number five. Oh, that's yeah, great. Yeah, number mm -hmm. five. He came out with that on uh, uh, February 5th, so he's off and running with that one. That's great. You know? I thought he was in Florida now, isn't he? Or. Yeah, well, he came back oh, he for came a back? couple okay. weeks. Yeah, he was down in Florida uh -huh. doing mm -hmm. real well down there, and he came back. Good. He had his uh, show at the Trough uh, also on Friday the 5th. So uh -huh. he introduced his new CD. He had oh, about that's great. He had people there, and he did real well with it. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. He was going to go to Tin Pan Alley. What? But I see what you did there. You see what I, I did there? I see what you were doing there. At because there is a bar called Tin Pan Alley in Lewiston. In Lewiston? Yes. Called Tin Pan yes, yes. Wow. So, do they play a lot of those old great yes, tunes? Yes, they do. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'll take God. you out there sometime. i I got to throw in a few of these. You do. A few. <laughs> now, this is an important question. <coughs> Don't you think the time is right for a career-spanning, retrospective Volby box set? Oh. Four-disc collector's edition? Uh, okay, how much would you charge for it? I would pay forty dollars for that. I would pay forty dollars. And, and how much stuff do would, would I put on it? Four discs. You do three greatest hits. Four never before. One fourth disc has never before released material. What do you think of that? Wow. Well, you could make one disc all Christmas. Yes. You know how they think. I, I do have two Christmas discs right? already. You see. see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so You're against the box set. Uh, I, I believe that as soon as you release the greatest hits thing, you're done. Ooh, superstition. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of bullshit. The, the, mm -hmm. You know, that's the only album you're going to sell the rest of the, your life is, well, if the Eagles did it. You want to keep calm and fall beyond, correct? I want to keep Val beyond. Fuck yeah. Just keep. Going out there and doing what you do, and if it's a good crowd and a good recording, hey, put it out. There you go. Ed, I like this guy's style. What do you think? I think, I'm telling you, I think uh, he's right. I'm looking forward. I'm, I might even have to go to this uh, event Friday just to see the yeah. new album. You heard We're it about here it. first, folks. This John Volby, he's going places. <laughs> <laughs> you disagree? <laughs> Hell no. God bless Valbion. There we go. I appreciate you coming back, John. You're, you know you're welcome on every year. Thank you. After the Super Bowl, we didn't discuss uh, the uh, Denver Broncos. How'd you feel about the Super Bowl turnout? Uh, uh, well, I thought the halftime show rocked. I thought mm -hmm. it was great. You liked it? Oh, I loved it. You didn't like it? You hate the white man? Oh, hey, I, I love fucking mm -hmm. Uptown Funk, man. What a great song that is. Is Bruno Bru Mars two foot in real life? Is he two feet tall? Uh, well, he's uh, five foot short, yeah. But, uh, hey, he can fucking sing. He yep. can. He's a great, great entertainer. Good performer. And, uh, and Beyonce, Beyonce, I don't care, uh, you know, if she mm -hmm. dressed like a Black Panther. I didn't even know it was a Black Panther until they were bitching two days later. You know, Nobody just, rooted for Coldplay. Nobody liked Coldplay. In I like Coldplay. You like Coldplay? Yeah, I, th I thought their first song was good and their last song was really good. There was one in the middle that I didn't know, recognize, or think was all that s special. But I thought they they got the whole crowd singing, and I thought it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, Uptown Funk is hard to fucking beat, though. It's Well, they overplay the shit out of it. We are at the 30-second mark. Uh... So I would like to thank both of you for coming on. The music is not working, and that's my fault. That's what happens when you do that fade out. Ed, you're a champ. 
Very good. Thank you, Tom. Thanks for having me on. What are you promoting on, real quick? Well, you know what, uh, <laughs> here, here's what we're promoting. There's probably uh, six new bars going to open in the next two weeks in Buffalo. 